Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority. So, if we take a look at the date, and as well as the map, this isn't exactly where we left off, because, like I stated in the other video from yesterday, this mod likes to crash, and when I try to save the game, it crashed again. So, I can't save the game anymore, which really, really sucks. Um, so, basically, uh, at this point, I probably can't even consider any of your comments which I would love to read but uh, yeah I can't save the game anymore I'm gonna keep playing this I'm gonna finish the campaign until we're done here until we take out everybody but we gotta focus on the Western Brotherhood who wants to go to war with us which has now um, 125 days left until we go to war with them if they go to war with us as well as the Washington Brotherhood who will go to war with us in 150 days, who's still struggling with Kemalt Station. Anyways, uh, Western Brotherhood, I did play this just a little bit beyond where we did end up, though, the, is now at war with the Shi, because uh, Western Brotherhood decided to go to war with the Shi for some unknown reason, and I tabbed over to see how they were doing, and let's just say, not all their divisions, but the divisions that have um, anti-tank have a lot of anti-tank. Holy crap, they have a lot of anti-tank. It's insane how much anti-tank they actually have, which is really, really cool. But a little terrifying as well, because if we go to war with them, you might as well just use infantry, because it's insane. So I've also set up some defenses here. I'm building as many defenses, outposts as possible. It's just, this war between me and them is going to be insane. Because, oh crap, I don't even have divisions over here too. Uh, I forgot about this spot too. Um, Build that up. I need this place taken care of first too. Do that. You know what, just plop them out. I'm going to need them. I'm really going to need these guys to defend as hard as possible. Get another commander. Simon Aber Abercrombie. Huh. Never shop there. Uh, go ahead and start training. And then some of these guys need to train as well. So, oh, just craziness. But the Sheed, I mean, the Western Brotherhood did go to war with the Sheed. The Sheed are just defending, but then they just came out smoking against the Western Brotherhood, which is kind of crazy to see, because they don't have a lot of manpower. I know that they're trying to get more manpower, but, ugh. Yeah, they're actually advancing. Which was really, really weird to see, because usually the Shi are usually the ones on defense, but, whatever. Uh, let's definitely work on getting a lot more piercing for our infantry, because that's going to be very, very important, because the Brotherhood of Steel, my goodness, they have a ton of armor. And they can pierce my armor, so I'm not even going to really use my armor very much. It's all about the infantry in the coming war with the Western Brotherhood of Steel. I mean, my gosh. It's insane how much armor they have. Combined arms is done. Nice. We lose a little bit of population, which sucks. But we do get more recovery rate, soft attack, heart attack, and organization. And we're almost finally done with our land doctrine. Oh, baby. Oh, here's a she. Very nice. Very nice. They're doing a good job. Yeah, they don't have a lot of manpower, but they're not really losing... They have a lot of divisions. Holy cow. They have almost a comparable amount to the Western Brotherhood. So obviously they're not using all their divisions against the Shi because they have to guard against me because they want to go to war with me. Very weird. Very, very weird. Doctrinal thought. They're running out of manpower. That's not... Well, it's good for us. Uh, Kemal Station's already out. Western Brotherhood. I just keep watching just like, come on. you got to run out of ma manpower or something. But if we go to war with the Western Brotherhood, we might be able to kick them out of the war because they hopefully won't be able to do very well against the Shi. And also, I did do military propaganda, but let me catch you guys up to what I was doing just a little bit ahead of time. So, because I can't save the game anymore, I went ahead and did rebuild the power grid, which actually I need to do. Because I need more manpower, of course. We'll probably do that slowly. So we can build civilian power grids. Um, That's pretty much it. I didn't... Our new city, the Gecko Power Plant, enforce American culture. But, really, I'm going to be on the defense for quite a bit. So, yeah. Free bottle caps. Light up the night. I'd love to do that. We are really don't have a lot of resources to work with. But, my concern right now is to probably do wartime draft. Maybe a home defense. To get National Guard for more mobilization speed. Actually, that would be really good. But, we need more Army XP. And this will take up most of it. So, let's do that to draft American citizens. I don't mind drafting them because we gonna need it. We gonna need it quite a bit. Ooh, Guerrilla Tactics, nice. More defense and breakthrough. I like that. We definitely want more piercing immediately. And the Shi are just taking out the, Washington, the Western Brotherhood. I don't know how. 
Except I do know that some of their infantry has an insane amount of piercing. Oh yeah, and Kaiser's Legion took out the r cowboys, the ranchers somewhere around here. Oh, that might have been over here. Cowboy, country, the ranchers, something like that. So yeah, give them your run for your money, guys. Uh, what's the casualties like currently? Brotherhood Sheath, okay. The Sheath is definitely taking about twice as many casualties, which is fine with me for now, because when we go to war with the Brotherhood here, that'll be in our favor, hopefully. Uh, 203 days is just too much growth and cap. How many more days do we have? All right, a little less than 100. That's not bad. Kamal Station's actually doing really well, surprisingly, with no manpower. Um, these guys are still have the same amount of manpower, so good to know. We just are still mobilizing, but it's definitely going to take a long time for us to get there. Ugh, terrible. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need to court different areas. Connected to grid. Ooh. Uh, I need... Oh, God, I need manpower. Oh, boy. So, who can I... Oh, actually, if I core this, that would be really good. Let's do that area. And I can't do this area. But if we can core it, then we, get, then we can get some defensive bonus, perhaps, on territory, maybe? And do that. I'll do whatever it takes to core territory. How long will that take, though, to build? That'll be until August 13th, which we might have time. We are still mobilizing, which is good. The Shi are just doing a great job. I don't know what's happening. I mean, maybe... I know it's supposed to be like a Chinese colony or something, or a Chinese place here, but... This is surprisingly good. Dem demand the bay. Uh... That means, like, the bay area around here, isn't it? Or... Oh, I guess they're demanding the bay right here from San Francisco. Okay, then. Okay. Hyperlock Republic. Um, honestly, I don't mind doing this. I want to give us a little more legitimacy for a little bit more, slightly more manpower and political power gain. Really wouldn't matter very much. Um, I guess, why not? I could use every little squirt I could use. Basically did nothing, though. So, wartime draft, that'll be good to do. And... There you go. Wartime draft. Cool. Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Department of Education, Enclave Reborn. Uh, I really kind of want to do this. Oh, but requisition of resources. I lose the legitimacy I just gained, god dang it. But I get more resources, which... Actually, these are resources I basically immediately need. So, because I won't have access to some of these resources again because I'm trading them away to New Vegas and New Vegas. Actually, thank God for New Vegas. Give me one more of those. So I can actually produce enough power armor and all sorts of things. So actually, we're doing pretty well on equipment, maybe except for planes and stuff, but... Oh, actually, we got a huge stockpile of anti-tank. That's really good. And the piercing on these guys is pretty good. I don't know if I have enough piercing to pierce the Brotherhood's armor. 83 days until we go to war with them. How many more days until the Western Brotherhood can go to war with us? About 50. Which actually should be... Oh, yeah, don't kill yourselves, guys. Yeah, do that. Shepherd's Army declared war on the Capital Brotherhood over here. Buffalo Ra Raiders are pretty big. Pretty big. Ancient Forest. Very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just going to be one hell of a war when we go to war with the, the Washington... Any Brotherhood, really. Really, any Brotherhood. The Shiite is doing great, though. They even had this in place almost completely encircled. They have two ports, and they have Concord and Antioch, but... If we can attack from the south, I think we should be doing pretty well. we got even more piercing now. Oh, let's get that. Yeah, give me that rocket launcher. It's still July. Keep an eye on these, these uh, civilian power grids. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have 78 electricity. Not a lot of electricity, to be honest with you. That's really not a lot. I can really use more. Oh, they're taking a little bit of attrition. That's good. Kimmel Station is slowly getting beaten back now. Uh, I hope they can raise their conscription level in time. You guys still have a little bit more manpower than before. You guys have definitely less. Less divisions, maybe? Does she have a little bit less than the 
Western Brotherhood. But this is looking good. I mean, I'm surprised this actually happened. Oh, yeah. And I guess in this territory, or this territory, this playthrough, last time, when I before I tried to save, the White Legs joined Kaiser's Legion. But right now, the White Legs didn't join Kaiser's Legion and tried to attack the Ripe Rolt territories, which didn't work out so well for them. Not at all. Which is good for us. So, really good. Ugh, it just... This game has been very conflicting. Oh, we are not mobilizing any more men. I need more men. I don't want to do this, though. I really don't want to do this. But I have to do this. I need manpower. But I get more resources, which would be nice. That would be nice to have more resources. Inst the Institute? That's in the game? The Institute? Oh. oh! Is this all your- oh! Oh! Hello, father! Wowzers, modern communications. Um, okay. Diamond City looks pretty cool. Led by McDonough Synth, and then... Uh, oh, they're out of manpower. Minutemen have no more manpower. Uh-oh. And they're currently fighting the Gunners, who's fighting both of these guys, so they'll, they'll win in the end. Oh, they're also all out of manpower as well. But anyways. Uh, so we got more resources. That's great. Three of bottle caps could be good. A lot of things could be good. Oh, let's do this so we can build more civilian power grids faster. We're about to have this, but we're about to go to war with the Western Brotherhood. And the Dark Brotherhood. Washington Brotherhood. How many more days? 20 days. 20 days, guys. Oh, good. Please kick these guys out. Oh. <gasps> Wait. Where did you come from? Uh, wait, how did they take this? Point green? What? How did they take point green away from me? It must have been a focus. They must have demanded the bay. Maybe that was it. Demand the bay and they automatically get it? That don't make no sense. But whatever. Soon enough, these guys will be destroyed anyways. Because thank God for the she. Oh my goodness. I mean, we'll kill them all someday, but not today. Oh, it's August 10th. Do we have... We might get a little bit more manpower soon. Seven. Come on. 99%. We have another core. Or we can have another core. Uh, let's see. Do we... Warner the Red Menace. Curb Elitist Influence. Where did I put that? Did I put that over here? Junk Town. Oh crap, I can't even remember where I put my ideology. Not ideology, but was it new? No, Nurino already has this. Oh crap, I can't even remember where I put it now. God dang, we need more manpower. What's, oh, it might have been up here, actually. Does, does it automatically connect? Maybe it automatically connects. That'd be kind of nice if it does. Yeah, because I don't see anything around here. Alright, well, whatever. Keep building up stuff. That'll be great. Maybe maybe all this was for naught. You know? But regardless. So, I gotta keep an eye on where we're actually building stuff up. So, build a battle mountain and up there as well. And I have two coastal divisions. Who I told not to do anything because this game kept crashing whenever I try to save. Do that, 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 that. Cool. Yeah, all of this definitely has to be taken care of. Do that. Do that. God dang it, come on. There you go. The what? I hope they go to war with us. If not... Hmm... <laughs> Well, we'll see if they go to war with us or not first. This is good. This is really good. I mean, I don't care if the she's here. As long as the she doesn't go to war with me, I'm okay with this. For now. Labor treaties. What are they doing? Bonus. Advanced weapon technology. Old world tactics. Alright, I don't think they have anything that really says that they want to go to war with me, per se. Which will be great. 
come on, just go to war with me, please. Be crazy, because I would... Um, they want a lot of my territory. Temple of Trials. Oh! Quartz Hill and New... Re oh, they want a new Reno. They really don't like me. Um, if they're not gonna go to war with me... I doubt there's enough time for me to do this. But I'll go to war with them, then. Because if they're gonna get defeated, I don't want... The Western Brotherhood to be a thorn in my back the entire time. Especially if we have to go to war with Kaiser's Legion in the end, as well as... Ooh, another division. Uh, throw you up here. Go to war with Kaiser's Legion, as well as the Brotherhood in the north, which is still struggling against Kamalt Station. Fighting through mountains just must suck. Oh, and they actually got to scraping the barrel. Nice. Oh, they're on all adults there, too. Come on. Come on, Brotherhood. Go to war with me. Because I don't want to end up in the war with... Ooh. Ooh, fine. Ready power grid. Ooh. Ah. Beautiful. So, I'm going to end up in a war with these guys. I'm not ready for this. Mmm. I hate this. I really don't like this. Mmm. I need a, a defensive line of something. Uh, down here we should be okay. Over here we should be... We're going to be more than okay right here. Come here. And you guys. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you're moving up north. You guys will focus on the defense of Temple of Trials. That'll be a good place for these guys to defend. With you guys, though, I don't mind them trying to take some of more of our territory. As long as... Oh, the Chinese menace... San Francisco is one of the greatest cities of pre-war America, center of tech, and a window to the world. But now it's completely occupied by the Xi, a Chinese beachhead on American soil. Some say we must drive them into the ocean, others, mindful of Camp Turtle Dove and other pre-war mistakes, suggest we give the city autonomy and welcome the Xi into the re United States. Um, okay, well, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, you guys will be fine over there. The southern portion might be under attack a little bit. So, yeah. Actually, having these extra divisions up here, defending this territory will be okay. Oh, okay, so they actually went to war with us. Um, not bad. Not bad. I want you to attack as hard and as fast as you can. You guys need a lot of stuff. Holy crap. You need manpower. Um, do that. Don't attack, because they can just pierce me immediately anyways. Uh... What's my electricity like? We're still okay for now. So, I mean, just keep corn. I mean, that's really all we can really do at the moment. But let's put it in places where we might not get attacked. Um, I want everyone to go crazy. I need you to take this point, this place back, because I don't know why they took it away from us. If we can take this area, this would definitely help out the she. Which, thank God they're at war with the Brotherhood. I was surprised by this. Holy crap. Um, actually. Now I'm going to war economy. That'll be nice. Department of Energy, thank you very much. Oh, uh, this definitely helped out this stuff. So we can produce quite a bit of stuff. Department of Energy, thank you very much. I love government departments. Um, promote healthy families for more recruitable population would be nice, but we get less monthly population. Can't really use that too much right now. Uh, I already did vaccinations. Fund the EP. Oh, well, let's do fund the EPA because we get 1% more recruitable population. Yeah, that does hurt our factories a little bit, but I don't mind that right now. Yeah, go ahead and do whatever we need to do. Oh, we're doing well. We're doing swell up north, which is good because we need this. This is one of the greatest surprises I've seen in this campaign. I guess technically a redone campaign, but. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Just go ahead. Just go bonkers, because... Oh, no. Oh, God. And the Lone Tree has decided to go commit war against itself. God dang it. Um, Who's up in the north? You guys, you defend this. You just... Go ahead and do that. You guys do this. And I'm about to sneeze. Do that. I want you to immediately... Take those guys out as fast as possible. Uh, at least, I guess, Kamult Station won't die. Oh, improved anti-tank. Very nice. Get more anti-tank piercing. And... 
I haven't made any sort of anti-tank. God dang it, I am not with it right now. Cool, do, definitely do that. Overcharge ammunition, that'll help with a little bit of piercing. Um, what about factories? Eh, I'll do Brahmin herding so we can get more recruitable population. That'd be nice. Just take all this stuff we can. I'm really going to rely on the sheesh so much for all this stuff. Give me you. Come down here to Clown, or whatever you pronounce it as. Thank God for the Xi. Ooh, I can't believe I just said, thank God for the Chinese, even though we hate the communists. What the heck? We just started the war. Oh my goodness. This was the craziest way I've seen the Washington or the Western Brotherhood be taken out. I'm going to give this a lot to the Xi, because they obviously deserve it. But I'm going to make sure I take what is appropriately mine. So, with the Xi, you obviously get a lot of territory. Just... Please don't backstab me. I don't mind them honestly owning all this stuff. I mean, in the end, we will take it over. I'll go and do that. Um, what's this? Because I totally deserve it. And the Sheik can totally not attack me for this. Uh, I'll give them the hub just because they probably deserve it. That's, that's a pretty big she. And you know what? Uh, I don't think I, I don't think that the she really had the strength to fight me over this. We're, we're gonna say that. That sounds like a good uh, fake threat. Uh, do a barge next, I guess. G just go to Etna. Oh, we actually have a battleship here. Nice. Oh, we've no one here. Edward Greer, do this, and then go ahead and we're at war with these guys up here. Do a patrol over here, maybe. See what happens. Maybe not. Maybe maybe not. I hope the Xi don't go to war with us, because now I can actually focus on one thing at a time. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, America. Which means we don't need... Well, we probably don't need these anymore. So do this. Sac City. Oh yeah, definitely build you up. Yeah, I don't need these hopefully anymore. Just keep building. That's our goal. Build for America. You guys did a great job defending nothing. Uh, you guys down here, I'm not going to use you against the Washington Brotherhood because I want to save you guys for something that might happen. I don't know. You never know what might happen. Fund the EPA. Thank God. Um, I can't believe I just said thank God for the EPA, but whatever. Uh, really, I mean, we're not missing much. Do we have a war goal against somebody that's the she themselves? Actually, we might take out the she if we can in the future once these guys are taken care of but how we have a little bit more than a year until we go to war with the Khazar's Legion all right just keep an eye on this stuff good just keep coring stuff we had a little bit of population there but we'll see what happens training the power armor soldiers that really really need it uh just go and throw you guys over here for now I don't trust these guys very much. So, just do this. I mean, you're basically not really going to leave. So, one, two, three. Nah, let time go on, because we need time to go on. Do that. Just guard against those territories. And for you guys, just do that. That might be easiest. So, just in case the she might get a little upset with us. Could we attack and perform relatively decently? Right here. Can we pierce the enemy? Can we do anything against them? We can pierce the enemy. Wow. Uh, okay, and because of that, they're now attacking us, which I'm actually okay with. Launch codes detected. Now that we've liberated Navarro from America's enemies, the Army Corps of Engineers is going through old records and has come across something interesting. They've managed to find launch codes for missile silos, although not most of these codes were lost during the war or after due to Vault Tech. A subversion. If we ever find missiles that weren't used, it could come in handy. They were in Southern Nevada, weren't they? Southern Hopeville, Ashton, Nevada. Hmm. They only have four divisions? Holy crap. Electronic blueprints, very nice. Construction. 
Oh, let's do this. I want more construction speed. <gasps> do we actually have a little bit of manpower? That'd be really cool if we did. Uh, do this for more of that. Just keep building stuff up. Yeah, going to war with Kaiser is going to be insane, though. Because they're huge now. Massive. Quite a good amount of manpower. Much more than us. And they have a lot more divisions. But not as much as they should have. Because they almost died, I think, earlier to... What did they die to? I don't know. They don't have a lot of manpower. I mean, they don't have a lot of divisions, I mean. Just because they didn't have a civil war yet. Because I, this is another save that I had to use. Because Kaiser is still here. Oop, on the EPA, thank you. The Gek Project. Horses. For better supply consumption or light up the night. Right now, we're actually doing okay. Hmm. The Business of California. This could help us quite a bit. Let's do that. Oh, and the supplier is very bad. Wait, why is that? Bad supply. You're only 20 combat width. You don't take a ton of supplies. You're level 10 infrastructure down here, but you might have been hurt. No, Arroyo. Ah, uh, there it is. Just because they keep attacking us. If they can't win against us, this is I, I would see this as a win. An absolute win. Uh, at least we got Navarro back. That's pretty good. Not bad. We're still out of manpower. I mean, Jesus. We need a lot more manpower. Can I core anything yet? No? Okay. Yeah, after the war with this Brotherhood, I mean, we're probably going to end up in a war with the Khazar's Legion. I hope there's a civil war that spawns when we're at war with them, though. Are Death Claws an endangered species? For the revival of the EPA, one of the more vocal debates is whether North America's latest apex predator, the Deathclaw, is entitled to protection. Once a terrible threat, the deployment of heavy weaponry has reduced its natural habitat, and some scientists claim or estimate that it could one day be extinct. We could preserve this proud animal, a testament to nature's fortitude through adversity. On the other hand, farmers complain that Deathclaws make off with their Brahmin and children. Well, I don't need more war support, so the Deathclaw, like the Bald Eagle, symbolizes America. You bet your ass it does. America. Ha oh, I love it. Oh, they're still attacking us here. And we can still pierce them. Even though they can attack our gunships, which kind of sucks, but whatever. As long as we win and we kind of hurt the Washington Brotherhood and their allies, that's a win in my book. They've lost a lot of guys. Holy crap. 17,000 to Kemalt Station? They've, they've only lost 4,500? Holy cow. Jesus. And good God, I need some more uh, infrastructure over here. Uh-oh. Sounds like someone's invading us. Oh, thank God we got some guys over here. Uh, I need to definitely add you up. Take you off, because don't really need you as much. And the, that manpower went away as fast as possible. Do another one, just because I will begin converting a lot of our divisions into power armor. I think we have enough. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Gecko. Oh, thank God. Oh, God, yes, 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 yes. Good stuff, but we have to keep an eye on electricity because we won't have a lot of it if we keep doing this, which is okay, which is totally okay. So, oh yeah, do it down there. Oh, do it, yeah, do it in Baja California as well. They might not strike us down here in Baja California, but you never know. You never, never know. Cool. Now, obviously, we got a little bit more man. <gasps> we have manpower. Look at that. We actually have manpower for the first time in like, for me, a couple days. Holy goodness. Oh, with that in mind, though, let's make sure we got some more uh, field hospitals. And we need logistic companies, too. So, I mean, just because we have manpower doesn't mean it's all over yet. Ooh, old world tech. Did we do the van griffs? Can I... Oh, I can actually lower this. We lower construction speed, but we get more... Ex we can get more resources. But do I need to have more resources? Really? Yeah, I kind of do. I really need more resources. So, that would probably be for the best. But what about military high command, though? Really not super important. Let's go, ahead and go down to limited exports. Awesome. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then... Oh, cool! I took back some of my own factories, and we can actually build more stuff now. And I don't have to bolster up New Vegas, which actually probably needs it. Because they probably end up in a war with... Uh, Kaiser's Legion before long. Institute. Oh! Hello there! 
Oh, that's not... Oh, no. The Institute's going to win. The Synths are taking control. And this is why you got to support the Enclave, because the Synths are coming. The Gunrunners. The Gunrunners is a weapons merchant and manufacturer faction operating out of the fortress in the Boneyard. By today, it has branches in many areas, including the one near the Strip in the Mojave Wasteland. The Gunrunners supplies only the finest hardware to the most discerning of customers, which used to include the NCR. Most Gunrunner workshops are set up in the areas that recently came under our control. Unsure of the new regime's view in the business, they have ceased production temporarily. Many are making plans to leave, and will do so unless we make our opinion clear of them. Uh, their business, and I want to encourage as much business as possible, and I don't need any extra weaponry right now, so we're going to let them continue operating. Awesome. Laser batteries. Ooh. Um, stripping the vaults. Rebuilding the Pacific Northwest. Ooh. Vengeance for Navarro. Pa oh. Oh my goodness. I could use that manpower. There's so many things I want to do. Every man a car. Every man a king, baby. Oh, let's see. Ooh, this is good, though, too. Um, division organization recruitable population goes down by a little bit, but we get more attack. I always went with the left one, so I'm going to do this first. We get more political power and attack and defense, but that's all the time for we have today. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, somehow, with the Xi, the Xi, the Chinese took out the freaking Brotherhood, the Western Brotherhood. So, thank God bless the Chinese. We're, we're, we are going to evaporate in the next couple episodes, but anyways... Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. I can't stay this game anymore. And I will see you tomorrow as we push into the Washington Brotherhood. Thanks for watching.